Hey guys, what's up? Ronaldo CSN5 here with episode 5 of Player series and today, yes, you guys guessed it right. Today we are reviewing the Argentine gangster looking badass motherfucker. A guy who has more tattoos on his body than a drug lord from Mexico. Yes, guys, you guessed it right. Today we are reviewing Ezequiel Love Ezzy. That's his inform card. 86 rated, 89 pace, 90 dribbling, 82 shooting, 75 passing and 62 heading. Plays, of course, a left winger for PSG. Now guys, that's the squad that I used him in. He was the left winger in that League 1 squad of mine and I must tell you, I enjoyed playing with this squad. On PC, well, your kidneys are safe. You don't have to sell them this year, man. He's only around 800k on Xbox and PSC is only around 400k, but I expect him to come down real soon, guys. The traits, he's only got one this year, injury prone, but trust me, in-game he's way more than that. That's just a bunch of BS. The stats, holy flipping shit, these stats look like the stats of He-Man, I must tell you man, he's, I mean, pretty amazing stats, I must tell you, for 86 rated card, those are some goddamn amazing stats. Over to the clips now, let's talk about this guy in general now, Edzy, Quill, Love Edzy, guys, I've been here for the past three FIFAs, playing Ultimate Team, and I must tell you, in each fucking year, this guy's come up against me, he has literally raped me, and I've used this guy, and I've raped opponents, I mean, for past three years, years he's been one of the most consistent players in FUT. In FIFA 12 back then he had 5 star skills which was awesome but he was downgraded last year which was a bit of hell to swallow but guys this year is what we're talking about now this year this guy's skills god damn it feels like bacon dipped in butter man I mean they are as smooth as Ronaldo's skills I must tell you I mean if there would be a 4 stars Ronaldo this right here is what you're looking at I mean even despite being a 4 star skiller this guy is on par with Ronaldo when it comes to skills I mean it's just insane how easy you can skill with him if you're a skiller and if you know even half the skills you can I mean it's just awesome you'll just love playing with this guy I mean you must try him at least once I mean I don't care get his inform non inform anything but you must try this guy just for the skills he does I mean insane man you know what you're doing you know what skills you're doing you can control them nicely you know he doesn't go for like flipping 500 yard rainbows and shit he has a control aerial thingy as well I mean just insane man to this in the skill section He's on par with Ronaldo. Next up is dribbling and holy goddamn shit. I mean, I'm th when this guy gets dribbling, holy shit, the defenders run for cover, motherfucker. I mean, you can put Big Shuan under the giant and they still won't be able to do jack shit to him. When he gets dribbling, holy shit, this guy runs like a rabbit wolverine. I mean, insane dribbling on this guy. He has amazing ball control as well. So, you know, the ball sticks to his feet. That's pretty good in my opinion, guys. Next up, I enjoyed his shooting a lot. That's a considerable upgrade from his non-inform, which, I mean, I just loved. I mean, who doesn't love shooting? Plus me, long shots. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This was wonderful for me. Next up, I think so. His crossing was amazing. His pace was pretty goddamn awesome as well. Electrifying pace, I must tell you. Set pieces, they were awesome. The only downgrade that I see in him is that his work rates well. He has medium defensive. Sometimes he lacks behind. Uh, other than that, there's nothing goddamn wrong with this guy. Overall, guys, the biggest positive for him has to be his dribbling, his skilling, and his pace. Electric, electrifying pace, skilling, I've already said, on par with Ronaldo's, and dribbling also amazing, man. The only downside I see on him is his probably work rates. Not always, but just sometimes he lags way too behind because of that medium defensive work rate. Other than that, guys, this guy is just awesome. Overall, I have to give this guy a 9.5. He's like a 4-star Ronaldo. Trust me on this one, guys. And yeah, I guess that'll be it. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button, man. And by the way, be sure to head out to my Facebook and Twitter page for more updates and to stay updated as to what I do. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Peace out.